Good. Just Oregon being here, yep. everything. Just how have you enjoyed the week so far? It's been a week. Um, I felt like I enjoyed having the spectator view, watching all the sweeps, and then also being on the track. And so I feel like I got the best of both worlds. But all in all, despite today, um, I feel like like it's no facade. It's, I'm actually feeling very proud of being a part of this moment. Um, there's so much to be grateful for. There's so much to still be excited for. And all in all, I'm a big advocate for our sport, getting the respect that deserves, especially women. You guys know how I feel. I mean, we work hard just as much as the guys. And I feel like the, the women really did show up this meet. And it's something that nationally they'll be able to get the respect for. How do you feel about your result today in the race? Um, I mean, once I'm in Lusum, I've been, I've been glad I've established the habit of looking at my races and learning from them. So I'm just going to carry that into this race, go back and watch it, get ready to race overseas, finish the season off higher than I want to, you know? Yeah. But all in all, this is a great moment to celebrate the thing, Keely. But most importantly, representing me and Ajay and so many American 800 runners, the thing really did represent well with so much resilience and confidence. And um, I just couldn't be any proud and happier for her. Are you happy that next year four women get to qualify for the world? Yeah, the right. I mean, all in all, the 800, you know, I need people to give us some respect, right? We're out here fighting and, you know, holding on. It's a sprint endurance race. Um, and so all in all, whether it's Ali, whether it's Olivia, you have all these legends that have done the 800. It speaks to our character. We're strong women, and I'm excited that we'll have that opportunity next year. Do you think a slower race would have benefited you at all? No. <laughs> I just wasn't in it. Yeah. I feel like I was in it, but I wasn't in it. Um, that's why I have to go back and look at the race and be like, okay, what actually happened? Because I don't remember. Because it's a lot of adrenaline, but it's good adrenaline. I go back and look at it. I saw my Nike rep afterwards. You know, I'm, I'm a fighter. I'll be back. Yeah, well, there's sometimes it seems like, you know, and, and then you suddenly put yourself in it. So was there a difference today that you weren't able to fight, fight do that? I don't know. I felt like I was, I mean, the only thing I can remember being in it as far as like trying not to be so far from the pack, but the rest of it, I don't even remember. It's, I just can't remember. I have to go back and watch it. Um, like I said, it's just so much adrenaline that you just kind of, there's so much that it'll make you forgetful. And so I just have to go back and watch it. Do you feel good about the U.S. in a 4x8 versus any other country in the world? I'm going to speak to the U.S. because I know my girls, you know. We work hard. Um, but, I mean, we're also fighters too. But, I mean, that doesn't discredit the U.K. I mean, they're equally as talented. I have respect for them as well. But, of course, I know my girls. And so, you know, we're going for a down for a fight regardless. Thank you.